the General Register Office for England and Wales, gro.gov.uk, is the website. And this is one I'm sure you have used in the past to order birth, marriage and death certificates, 1837 up to the present day. In October 2016, the GRO released an index for the first time. You can search births from 1837 to 1915. So in using the index, if we start with birth, you'll have a number of options for you to enter data. The first option is the surname at birth and to be able to enter the first name and the second name at birth. Now remember to use good search techniques here. Start with the least amount of information and add further information in if you get too many search results. You also have the option to enter the sex of the child and also the mother's maiden name. Now this is a fantastic advantage over the free BMD indexes. For free BMD you can only add a mother's surname for birth, or sorry, a mother's maiden name for births after September 1911. For these new GRO indexes you can add the mother's maiden name for births right back until 1837. So that's a huge advantage over free BMD. I would still search on both sites. You may find though that in searching the GRO indexes for births, you discover a few more ancestors. Being able to find ancestors with the mother's maiden name is a great advantage. So revisit this index and search for further births for your ancestors. Other information that you will be able to search on at this point includes when the birth was registered and where the birth was registered and also the GRO reference numbers and data if you know that. So enjoy these indexes, access them, get used to using them <clears throat> play around with them, maybe search on some information you know already to get a feel for the index and then go ahead and search for new ancestors or find details of ancestors that you haven't pinned down so far. These indexes are free to use and are a fabulous resource. What stories might you find in your family history?